Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about my number one strategy for listing products quickly and effectively on Amazon Seller Central. Be sure to like and subscribe if you happen to be new, but without further ado, let's get right into it. So there's two things that we have to talk about really quickly before I show you the strategy for listing really effectively and really quickly on Amazon Seller Central. One, I have a bruise on my head. Yes, I know. I box several times a week. And then two, a lot of people, not really a lot of people, like three people asked what I'm doing with the Jawa products uh, Seller Central account. Last year in 2020, we did a case study on this uh, Seller Central account. We brought a product from just beginning up to over $120,000 in revenue, um, $34,000 in profit. And then at the end of the year, I started a new brand with a business partner that is private, that is not public. So I let this stuff sell out and it is just going to be a test account for YouTube purposes. So now I have this one to show for tutorials and my other one where I'm actively scaling. All you have to do is come up to catalog, add products, and now your Seller Central might look a little bit different. I don't know why mine hasn't updated my business partner Seller Central on the left-hand side, all of these are there but it'll still say catalog and it'll still open up to say add products. Click on that. Once you're into this area, this is really where a lot of people go wrong and where you can make some serious mistakes now. So one of the first things that we need to do is go to GS1 and purchase a barcode. I will generally just search GS1 barcode on Google and then make sure you're going to gs1.org. GS1 barcodes, that link right there is basically a quick link right to where you can purchase your UPC code. You cannot make an Amazon listing without a UPC code, even if it's just a draft listing or it's just like the first skeleton listing. Get a GS1 barcode, go through there, it's $30 for one UPC code, buy that, and you'll be able to get that UPC code as soon as you purchase it, you don't have to wait. So do that and then come back. Now we're here. Let me show you probably the biggest mistake that people make. People will come in here and they'll search for their product, right? So if you search for your product here, and then you select one of these to sell, select a condition, new, sell this product, that's not a private label, guys. That's arbitrage, okay? What you need to do is select create a new listing, or if you're on this page still, just do I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring you right over to the creating a listing from scratch page. And that's really what we want to do. So what you need to do is search for your category. And the best way to do that is to just go see what category your competitors are selling in. So one thing that I made a video about recently, there's my words, was like a fly fishing kit. So we can click onto one of these listings, for example, and just see what category they're listed in. You would insert your competitor here. So when we scroll down to their product details, we see that sports and outdoors and then fly fishing wet flies. So when we come to Amazon, we could do wet flies. So we can see sports and outdoors, sports and fitness, hunting and fishing, fishing. Uh, this one's probably better, okay? So we could see either one of these because of the breakdown. That's why I purposely went in and looked at the breakdown. We don't really wanna go lures and baits. Under the fishing category, we wanna go straight to fly fishing and then flies and then dry flies or wet flies. If you have a kit that has both, either one of these is totally fine. So we'll select that and then now you're in, right? You've selected your specific category and don't get too caught up on the category. If it's one of those that's similar to what your competitor's in, it's probably gonna be the right one. And if it's not, Amazon will orient you in the place that they feel that you fit best based on your keywords and what people are searching for when they look for your product. So over time, it'll optimize itself. Now enter in that glorious little UPC code that you got right here. Select UPC on the side, paste that UPC code from GS1. Um, they'll give it to you right after you purchase it and put that in the product ID line. Then your product name is just a placeholder for now. So we could literally just put in anything that's close to the product because we're not optimizing our title yet. Like I said, this is quick and efficient. How do we get our barcodes? How do we create a skeleton listing? And then even after that, how do we make a beautiful listing that actually looks great? Um, so you would select, of course, the only um, fields that are necessary. Now, a lot of you are probably like, what, I don't have product expirable or unit count. Based on what category you select, you'll have different questions here. It's usually manufacturer or brand, but for um, our purposes, we got a couple different questions. Just fill out whatever is vital and whatever is red. Then you're gonna have to go to offer. 
item condition is going to be new, item price, always put the highest price you can ever see yourself possibly selling this for. So if my average competitor is selling for somewhere around 1919, uh, we might do something as high as double that. Because something can happen called price capping where if you set your price too low and then you try and raise it, Amazon actually won't let you raise it a certain amount and they'll take away your buy box. Uh, buy box is just over here on the right hand side where you get the option to purchase the product. Now, technically, if we, have a U if we had a UPC code in here right now, uh, we could save and finish, but there's a couple other things that we need to do. Upload a main image, right? So for right now, I mean, this is technically going to be copyrighted, but for Amazon's purposes in the back end, as long as you're not publishing your listing, this is technically okay to do. Um, I probably shouldn't say that, and that's not advice. Let's just put that out there, and then there we go. Disclaimer. <laughs> um, but I've done this forever. If I don't have my photography yet, just take something that when you see it in your Seller Central account, it will remind you of what the product is. Perfect. So we have the main image loaded in. Ours will be somewhat similar to that, but it's not going to be that exactly. Um, that'll keep it from being suppressed. And then now go ahead to more attributes and go over to more details. And what we have to fill out is your um, item package dimensions right here. This will generate the FBA fees for you. So we're going to go to um, inches here for all of these. And then once we come out of this, we'll actually know what our FBA fees are. Sorry, hard to type and talk. So now, like I said, if you had your UPC code in here, you can go ahead and save this at this point and you would technically be done. Pretty easy, right? Like that's it. And now you can go and you can print your barcodes, you can make your shipping plan for this product. Everything's pretty much set up at this point. Now, the one thing that you actually do need to do now is like make this an approachable listing. There's a lot we didn't touch. Description, key attributes, which are your bullet points. If we look at this listing here, all of these bullet points are those key attributes, the title, right? None of that's optimized. What I would suggest, if you really want to succeed on Amazon and you want to get it right, hire a professional photographer for all of your images, seven high quality images, main lifestyle, um, infographics, comparison charts. You really want to get those done extremely well. Pay $400, pay $500 for fantastic photography. If you have a good product, that's what's gonna really sell it. Over anything, the photography will sell it. And then secondly, I personally hate copywriting. Like I'm not a big fan of copywriting. I can do it somewhat well, but not as good as a professional copywriter. So go pay $100 or $200 for an Amazon copywriter to write your bullet points, your title, and your description, and your key search terms in the back end. Now your listing is done. So the process of scaling on Amazon becomes what we just did. Every time you find a new product, do that beginning phase and get the listing started. That way you have the labels for your supplier, but you don't need to do everything else. In the meantime, have a supplier send the sample over to a photographer and have a copywriter professionally do the copywriting. If you don't know where to get either of those, I would say the best place to start would be Fiverr. Um, we can go to Fiverr and we could search for any of those. So we could do Amazon photography and then look at the best rated ones. Look at the pro services. It can make me sign in, it's blocking everything. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen Fiverr before. This is a great place to start. And guess what? Change this out to copywriting. Okay, they'll do the title, the description, the bullet points for you. Look at one that has fantastic reviews. Look at some of the work that they've done. Here's a funny thing to do. Does the copywriting on their page sell you? Well, yeah, this actually does look pretty good as far as copywriting goes. So with that being said, you now have everything that you need to go out and successfully, efficiently, quickly make an Amazon listing in Seller Central. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. If you did, please be sure to give a thumbs up if you haven't already. If you made it this far, I'm sure you enjoyed the video, so I would appreciate it greatly. Also, be sure to subscribe down below. And of course, if you need any help selling on Amazon, getting started or scaling your business, you wanna learn the ropes, come join Savage University. The first link in the description, we're accept accepting applicants will be a process you can go through with that link. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video. Later.